Caesar can't even name 10 classic boulders at Mount Evans. Let's see. Clear blue skies, no more greener grasses. The dolly, duh. Ladder. Timeline. Um, Beer stat. I guess if you consider it like mega classic. That's just a boulder everyone does. I don't know that it's like mega classic, but whatever. Beer stat, since we can't name 10. <laughs> the nothing. The nothing. That looks sick. Sun seeker. Sun seeker. Um, that new wolf boulder looks sick. That's not a Mount Evans. Well, it kind of is, but it's like on the whole other area, dude. Oh, okay, so it's we'll like on the that. scratch that, dude. Scratch, 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 scratch. So we have eight. So what's your conclusion, Caesar? Dude, the park's better. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons I love the park so much is there's just so much rock, and it really varies. You know, down in lower, uh, there's. A lot of slightly overhanging climbing, but as soon as you hike way, way up there to the upper, upper deck, like you go even beyond upper and there's just giant talus fields of roofs. I mean, roofs on roofs on roofs. And it really is just so special up there. I mean, Eternia is just kind of where it starts. And from there, it only gets better. You gotta work for it, dude. didn't find this boulder. My good buddy Jack, uh, Jack the Crimper, as people know him by, he lives out in Rooftown in Arizona and uh, every summer he makes the venture out here in his in his little white van to uh, come crash in my house and climb in the park. And we spend every day pretty much that I have off from work in the park just climbing. Climbing old boulders, climbing new boulders, anything we can shake our stick at, we're psyched. I mean, Psych level through the roof. So, good. so one day I'm at work at the spot, just setting, and I just get berated by all these text messages from Jack. He's like, dude, I found so many boulders today. And he just starts sending me pictures like, look at this roof, look at this roof, look at this roof. And, and I'm just oh, kind of overwhelmed, like, wow, he really found a lot today. But there's just one in particular that he's beyond psyched about. And he's like, dude, we got to go. All right, it's 5 a.m. So we're gonna go wake up Jack from his van because it's time to go look for some new boulders. Jackie boy! Jackie boy! Mm -hmm. Wake, wakey, wakey, hands all snaky, dude. Good morning dude. there. How you doing? You ready to go check dude, out some I'm new ready blocks? To go, dude. <laughs> Let's fucking do this, dude. <laughs> All right, we're in the car. Mm. It's 
fucking do this, dude. Ready to go check the boulders on the boulderers dawn patrol, six o'clock. Look at that, dude. People said boulders don't wake up early. Got to the parking lot and it was just dumping rain. <laughs> dumping rain. Just pooping? Just pooping on us. No, it was, the, the rain would be pissing. It was perfect though. Um, to be more clear, actually. It was perfect because you see all the tourists like running out like cockroaches. So it was <laughs> like with these fucking idiots. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's like there's a parking spot, there's a parking spot, there's a parking spot. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go get my pets. Later, suckers. So you're walking and you're walking and you're walking and you're like, dude, where is the fucking boulder? Can we just be there already? And then you finally just turn this corner up this hill and you walk and you start to see this little kind of protruding roof and you're like, oh, sick, sick. So you're like, I feel like you're gonna throw up trying to hike a little bit faster and you get there and as you walk over this rock, you just realize like the roof just kind of goes back and goes back and keeps going. And then you start to crawl up kind of under this roof and duck down a little bit and keep walking and it just opens up into this huge cave. I mean, I think it probably goes back 40 feet. And when I got there, I was just blown away. And I immediately like, you know, threw off my bag and I'm worked, I'm like, let's chalk up the holes, let's figure this out, let's put our shoes on. Jack, get your shoes on and get on the boulder because I want to try it. It's open. Verified. I'm moving outside. Okay, I'm letting go. I'm starting to drift away. It really is dark out here. Jack and I, just being as psyched as we are, we do a lot of exploring. It's probably our favorite thing is to find new lines. We're always looking for new rock, new lines. And surprisingly, the park still has a lot to offer, especially in Upper. And I was fortunate enough that Jack allowed me to go to this beautiful boulder with him and, you know, work through it. We have a lot of fun together working through the climbs, figuring out the beta. 
we really think outside the box and you know we're not the normal body type we're a lot smaller and we always kind of have our own way of doing things so to go out there with him and work probably the greatest first ascent I've ever done and you know to watch him send the full line uh, was one of the best days of climbing in my life welcome to the aquarium of the stars <laughs> damn beautiful day today don't get much better than this look at that view